Cross it. Hey everybody, Dr. O. In this video, we're going to talk about the bisbiguanide, so say that three times fast. So um, the key one is chlorhexidine, and many of you, if you haven't heard of it or don't remember it, you've, you've probably come in contact with it, and then we'll talk about alexidine for just a moment. So the bisbiguanides, like chlorhexidine, they disrupt cell membranes, which, which is what makes them so effective. So where would you see these used? The first thing I think of with chlorhexidine is your surgical hand scrubs, so the, the chemical that's on surgical hand scrubs prior to surgery, but also this would be in the, the soap that the that they send home with you prior to surgery. So you're going to be using it on your skin prior to surgery. So I know my dad had open heart surgery to replace an aortic valve and and they had him scrubbing up that morning with the chlorhexidine um, soap. So you've got surgical hand scrubs, you've got uh, surgical soap if you want to call it that, and then orally as well. So I'm a, I'm a teeth clencher and I've had, had to have a couple of oral surgeries because of that. And after these oral surgeries, they give you the chlorhexidine mouthwash, which I love. I always beg the doctor for an extra prescription because I just, I just like how it makes my mouth feel. So this would be chlorhexidine. So again, how it works, it disrupts cell membranes and think surgical hand scrubs, um, surgical um, soap and then um, oral rinses after oral surgery. So alexidine, maybe you haven't heard of this one, but it will become more common because alexidine can do all the same things. Um, it actually works quicker, though. It has to do with its, its chemical structure, but um, alexidine is basically a quicker, uh, slightly more effective version of chlorhexidine. But chlorhexidine is still the most important one now. All right, so that is your bis bisbiguanides like chlorhexidine. Hope this helps. Have a wonderful day.